Hey guys, thank you for joining me once again. Um, back here in Durban Harbour, and as you can see, I've got a fish on the line. Um, sand gurnard, it is. So, yeah, um, in this video and the next couple of videos, uh, I would like to focus on a temporary structure that has washed down with the recent heavy rains, <clears throat> including uh, tree stumps and clumps of reeds it looks like this that's in front of me is a clump of reeds and yeah uh, the water I'm fishing in is uh, about a meter and a half deep it's not very deep uh, and I'm fishing over um, over sand flats on the low tide this is all exposed and uh, yeah this is the only piece of structure or place for the bait fish to hide or if there is other areas to hide it's it's not as uh, uh, prominent as uh, this piece of structure um, so all the bait fish and little shrimps and things in the area have gathered around this piece of structure there we go as expected. Ah, it's a decent fish. Yeah, he's biting nice. There we go, must be a kingy. Lovely yellow tail. Lovely little guy. Tiny for that fight to put up. Off you go. Let's do that again. we go <clears throat> that's another one yeah it feels about the same size as the last oh bugger he came off mm. okay I have to change locations now and um, I'm about 150, 200 meters away from that uh, last piece of structure, and uh, <coughs> excuse me, um, the water I'm fishing in at the moment is probably about two and a half meters deep. Uh, twi the tide is quite high at the moment; it's close to full high tide. Um, yeah, it's about two and a half meters, and uh, that bit of structure in front of me. Um, Again, it's reeds. There we go. <coughs> Fish on. Let's see what we got. Yeah, another little kingy. So yeah, as you can see, the there's a discoloration in the in the water. There's some brown water to my right and clearer water to my left, and I'm fishing the the 
with the dirty water it mixes with the clear water and I seem to be getting some takes. There we go, that's another fish. Feels a little bit better. There's a little guy. There's a little perch. <clears throat> As you can see, the current is pushing quite, quite a bit, and uh, that's making these little buggers feel like, like they're twice their size. There you go, little river perch. Get much bigger ones in this area. Off he goes. Again, trying to get into that clear water just at the other end of the brown water. Yeah, another one. I didn't even let it go, let, didn't even let it sink very deep there. Like a little kingy. That's a better size than the last couple. There we go. Plus two, it's a little GG. Off he goes. There's a nice cast, let it go down a little. Right. Yep, that's another little bugger. There must be a whole shoal of these little guys back there. They've moved away from this uh, structure to my right. And yeah, another little, even smaller, little yellow tail. So yeah, they've moved away from the structure to my right, and uh, they're feeding along that uh, brown water line. So yeah, that was the last fish for the day. Um, yeah, it, it was mainly small fish today, but uh, this area does produce some decent fish and uh, yeah stay tuned for the next episodes where I catch much better fish in these in this exact same location thanks for joining me and see you next time